Hello and welcome to Chirpcraft. My name is Chris and today I'm doing a video response for Christopher Frias. Uh, Chris messaged me asking me to uh, show him how to set up a solar uh, farm um, so he could use that to power all his machines instead of the infinite energy generator. Um, so I'm just going to go through how to set up um, and how you'd go about it. Um, the first thing you're obviously going to make is your first solar panel. So it's really simple. Place that down. Now these don't store any power, so you always need a bat box. So we're just going to connect that to that now, uh, just so I can show you how to set them up. You can put them next to it, but for now I'm just going to use uh, cables. Just going to use a copper cable. So you simply attach that now the back box all the e sides apart from the green one um, are the input so all your power goes into this so you can set up multiple ones to go into it um, and this is your output so whatever you want to power um, comes out of this so you would set it up like this and connect it to say an electric furnace or whatever you're using okay so um, that's already powering now one on its own is not going to be very good you don't generate a lot of power but as you add more now each of these do actually need to be connected um, now they can either be connected like that or as I said they can be connected to this side um, like that but generally you can just connect them in f all through in the same hole and it'll just uh, it powers more if they're not connected it, it will only take power from this one so that's your first setup what you're going to do is going to put a back box down and connect it to all your machines and every time you've got enough resources to build one you're going to build another solar panel so you'd add one two three four five six now once you get to eight um, you actually have enough to build your first low, vo uh, low voltage solar array now the first problem with this if I get a wrench is that when you use a wrench on these if you right click it turns it back into uh, obviously your mm. solar panel but sometimes it doesn't sometimes it will just turn it back into a generator um, or machine block I think it's a generator yeah it turns it back into a generator um, so you may want to make more than the initial eight but once you do get the eight uh, break them all down and then you can use those in your recipe to make your low voltage solar array so that's your first uh, first one now what these are these basically um, generate eight times the amount of a solar panel so it's equivalent to having eight but they've just it makes it into one block so these can still be connected with your uh, copper cable so you just connect that and as you can see it just goes up quicker than having one now you're going to do the same process again two three four five six seven eight so you just keep building this more and more as you need more power um, and once you've got eight again, do the same thing, break them all down. But again, that one down there turned into a generator, so um, you may need more. Um, and then once you've got another eight, uh, you can make another low voltage. And then you just repeat that process until you've got eight low voltage solar arrays. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, we, uh, so we've got eight of them. Now the good thing about these is if you do right click these, these don't turn into anything other than low voltage solar arrays. So you haven't got to worry about losing that. So now once you've done that, you do need to get rid of this um, because you now need to use a transformer. Uh, in this case you need a low voltage transformer. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to place that down next to your, your back box. You're going to get your wrench out. Now you want this red one pointing in the direction of where your power is coming from. So in this case it's going to be your medium voltage solar array. Now just so you understand, the recipe for this is uh, your low voltage solar array. So once, you, as I said, once you get your eight, you can upgrade. You just use it with a transformer. And there's your transformer. Um, so yeah, so you can actually use your back box still and connect it all with uh, copper cables because these don't lose as much power as your gold um, cables. So you only really want to be using one um, gold cable if possible. 
because um, they lose a lot more power over long distance. Um, so you connect that up to the red and then you place down your media voltage solar array which is this one. Um, so you just place that down and then this will start filling up. So as you see it goes up. So that is equivalent of eight low voltage solar arrays. Now you do exactly the same process again. You keep making solar panels, make low voltage. Now your low voltage will need to just connect straight to this. So you can just put your low voltage with the one. So you can just connect them like that. And that will just power up. Um, and then keep upgrading, keep upgrading until again you've got um, eight of these. Once you've got eight of them, you can do the same process again. Six. Right, okay, that was more. But um, once you've got that, you do then need to use a another transformer. So this time you're going to get a medium one, and you're going to do the same thing, connect it to that. But you're going to have again, you're going to have your red pointing in this direction, and now you're going to need to use a high voltage cable. Now you can either use your high voltage cables or just use your glass fibre cables. I tend to use these. These will be fine. Um, the glass fibre cables just can be used for anything. Um, so you just connect it to that. And now you're going to get a high voltage solar array. Oh, if I spell right. So you get your high voltage solar array now. Recipe for that. Oh, if you didn't do that. Um, there. The recipe for that is just uh, eight medium voltage around your high voltage transformer, um, and then you place that down uh, anywhere. So now, what this is doing is this is dishing out um, high voltage, going to this, and this is converting that high voltage into medium voltage, and going into this, and this is going to turn that medium voltage into low voltage sending it into the back box which only accepts low voltage so if we break that and we actually put a new back box down you'll see that it, literally it fills up really quick there you go so that there is the equivalent of eight mediums medium is equivalent of eight low and low is equivalent of eight normal solar panels uh, so that is how you're going to upgrade um, the reason I use the transformers like this is because it just makes it a a lot easier um, than having to use fiberglass everywhere. Um, you can then just use your copper cables. And if you check out the how to not lose power um, video, you'll see how you can use the back boxes so you don't lose any power with the copper cables um, over long distances. Um, plus, it means you won't actually have to upgrade as much to the MFE and MFSU, um, the storage box, so the upgrades to the back box, because you'll have so many back boxes, you'll be storing all the power over that. Um, but it is still nice to have the MFF, MFE or the MFSU, um, simply because they do store so much more power and they dish out more in one go. Um, but if you are going to be using a solar farm, which is very expensive, um, it's something like over 2,000 rubber alone just to make one of these. Um, but they do add, dish out a lot more uh, power than the or, uh, infinite energy generator. Um, but they are a lot more expensive. So early early goings, if you haven't got a lot of uh, a lot of resources, your infinite energy generator is the way to go. But um, if you do want the quiet side, because <laughs> um, it does make a lot of uh, a lot of noise um, with all the clicks. Um, this generates all your power. The unfortunately, obviously, it doesn't work overnight, um, but it does generate a lot more power. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, and let me know anybody else uh, want anything they want me to do a video on. Um, just message me, and I'll see if I can get a video up. Thanks for watching. Bye.